Greetings! Today we have a brand new product from Jackery, the Jackery Explorer 500 Portable Power Station. Let's check it out. All right, let's start with what's in the box. As always, Jackery's packaging is very good. They put right on the box their email and phone number and contact information, so if you have any problems if you need support. So you get the user manual, which we'll go over in a moment. You get the cool little Jackery card, warranty card. This is a warranty card. It tells you what to do if you're dissatisfied. Here's a closer look at what you get in the package. Now the AC charger is 25 volts at three and a half amps. This is gonna be important because I'm gonna explain something to you while we're charging it and show you why it's charging at the rate it charges. This is the 12 volt cable that you plug to your cigarette lighter socket. Okay, here's the first page of the manual. It tells you everything about the Jackery, the inputs, outputs. It does have an LED flashlight, which is pretty cool. They tell you here, DC output can power a fridge, a drone, AC output, you could do like a TV, USB outputs are for a phone. It says the first time you use it, make sure you plug it in and charge it all the way. This tells you about the warranty if you want to read about that. This will give you specifications. This is a 518 watt hour battery. So yeah, it's actually more than twice the Jackery 240. It weighs just over 13 pounds, which isn't too bad. It's uh, 12 by eight by nine are the dimensions, roughly. It tells you the input is 12 to 30 volts at three and a half amps, 100 watts maximum. So this can be charged up to a rate of 100 watts, which is more than twice of the Jackery Explorer 240. The car port is 12 volts at 10 amps, which means you can run 120 watts out of the DC port, which is excellent. Can you charge the Explorer 500 while supplying power at the same time? That is a resounding yes. You can use the outputs while you're charging it. Then inside, you get this nice, zippered pouch. It contains the AC power pack. This is what you plug into the wall to charge. And it includes a 12 volt DC power cord. Yes, you can charge this with a cigarette lighter socket in your vehicle, unlike the Explorer 440. That's one of the biggest selling points of the Jackery Explorer 500 is that you can charge it from 12 volts. And of course, Jackery Explorer 500 itself. Let's go over some of the features and the specifications of this beast. Okay, let's take a closer look at this. First, you're gonna notice it actually has an LED light, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little additional feature. Let's, let's give you a good idea what the size difference is between the Explorer 240 and the Explorer 500. That Explorer 500 is twice the capacity, probably twice the weight and twice the size but it also has a much larger inverter on it, which makes it very handy. The you know, 240 has a 200 watt inverter, which is good for a laptop and stuff, but say you wanna run something like a small coffee pot or a charger electric bike or something, that's the 500 is gonna be much more up your alley. So we're actually gonna take the 240 and use it to charge the 500 so I can show you guys the display and how it charges. And I gotta keep this plugged in because it's running the lights. <laughs> One of the many uses for the 240. So you have your two DC outputs, your cigarette lighter socket output, your three 2.4 amp USBs, your 500 watt AC output, your display button, which you press that and it shows you the state of charge and what's coming in and going out. And then you have your input, which this is how you charge it with either solar, 12 volts, or from the AC outlet. This side has slots in it to allow it cooling because it does have a fan inside. And then this side has the light. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. This is gonna break some kind of space-time continuum by using a Jackery to charge another Jackery, but I'll take that risk. Okay, here are the charging specification. It shows DC input 12 to 30 volts at three and a half amps or 100 watts maximum. And there's the output, which I already mentioned. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this sucker in. Now you probably can't see that light green. What's interesting is that this power pack that you use the Charge Explorer 500 has an LED in it. It'll be green or red depending on if it's charging or not. So you plug it in, the blue LED comes on, and the display comes on automatically. Now this is a feature of the Explorer 500 that you won't see in the Explorer 240. Anytime you turn any of the buttons on, the display comes on automatically. And what I mean is that the backlighting for the display comes on on the 
500 model, when you push any of the buttons where the Jackery Explorer 240 does not have the backlighting come on the display when you push the buttons. I think this is a really cool feature because I'm always having to push that display button on the 240 to actually see it. So you can see right now it's charging at 81 watts. That's gonna be the maximum you can charge from a wall outlet because if you recall, this does say on it that it's three and a half amps. So it's only gonna charge at 81 watts, but that's still pretty close to maximum. Now, as long as you're charging or discharging, the display will stay on, which is kind of nice. You don't have to keep pressing the button to see the status of the charge. So let's go ahead and unplug that. And I'm gonna shut the lights off for a moment. It's gonna get slightly dark in here because I wanna show you guys, you can actually charge it with 12 volts. So I'm using the 12 volt output from the Jackery 240. It's actually, I think, 13.2 volts constant no matter how full or how dead the battery is this provides a constant output which is great for this circumstance it'll show you exactly how it should charge now because it is limited through the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket your maximum charge from a 12 volt source is going to be 42 watt which is exactly the same as the explorer 240 so i already know your next question how fast can this thing be charged? Compared to the 240, which has a pretty limitation of 42 watts no matter how you charge it, the Explorer 500 is actually different. They have different software in here and probably different hardware, or at least it's programmed differently. So it depends entirely on how much voltage you're putting in. If you're putting in the 30 volt max, it's gonna charge at 100 watts. If you're putting in 12 volts, it's gonna charge at 42 watts. Now this is for safety reasons. They don't want to overload the 12 volt socket in your car or cause it to get hot or melt down or anything like that. This gets pretty hot. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly why they limit it to three and a half amps because it does get hot. Now I've tested how long it takes to charge this from all different methods. It's seven to eight hours if you plug it into the wall. It's 12 to 16 hours if you do it from 12 volt. Now I'm, it's actually closer to 12 hours, but they say 16 in the manual. So I'm going to give it that stretch of 12 to 16 hours it's like 12 13 hours from almost dead to charge this thing fully with uh, 12 volts from your cigarette lighter socket in your vehicle there's a 100 watt solar panel the 100 watt solar saga which is available now on amazon in fact you can get 15 percent off if you use my code it's in the description it's perfect for this in fact the 100 watt solar saga panel will charge both the jackery 240 and the 500 in fact it'll charge the 160 as well of course, the 160 and a 240 are gonna be limited to 42 watts. But this will charge up to 100 watts with solar. This is monsoon season here in Arizona. I haven't had perfectly blue skies. Uh, it's in the 65, 64, 65 watt range with a 100 watt panel. I'm gonna review that separately, and then I'm gonna talk about putting these together. But if you're charging from the 100 watt solar panel, it takes 10 to 12 hours to charge this from empty. Now this battery is huge, okay? It's 518 watt hours. To really discharge this thing all the way, you're gonna be really putting a lot of power through it. Um, I find it, even if I use it all day long, it's still half charged. That's running computers, speakers, lights, all kinds of stuff. End of the day, it's still got half its charge. So you charge it up the next day with solar, it only takes four to six hours, it's no big deal. Now all Jackery products have a two year manufacturer warranty. Now these products are made in China but they're warranted through Jackery Inc., which is a, an American company. So when you're buying this product, you're actually supporting an American company. The warranty service is great. They actually have an office and warehouse in California. So if you ever have a problem with your Jackery over the next two years, RMA service is right there. It's domestic. You don't have to worry about shipping anything back to China. And they do offer unlimited lifetime tech support online. So you can call them, email them. They have a Facebook group. In fact, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and link the Facebook group for Jackery in the description. You can check them out. Now this is not yet available for sale. This launches Monday, July 22nd. I'm gonna do a separate video on the launch. I'm gonna show you the top things you can use your Jackery 500 for. So expect that video to come out on July 22nd. There is going to be a substantial discount for Hobo Tech viewers. So we're gonna give you a promo code that'll be good for a substantial discount off this Explorer 500 when it goes on sale Monday, July 22nd. Now if you can't wait, 
and you'd rather have something smaller like this, you can still get this Jackery 240, and you can use the promo code for 15% off. Just look in the description. Current promo code on this is Hobotech. You use that on Amazon during checkout, and you get 15% off. It's over 50 bucks discount on this. This is going to have a similar promo code. So if you want something bigger with a bigger inverter, it puts a lot more power out. This is bigger to carry around and heavier. But I can tell you, you have a lot harder time running out of power with this thing. Like I said, the 100 watt solar panel review is coming. I'm going to probably be doing that in this next week. And I'm going to pair these two up together in their own video. And I'll show you how it charges with solar. Monsoon season, I can't do it today. It's clouds. So not happening today. But if you do want to get the 100 watt solar saga panel in advance, you get 15% off of that too. There's a code HOBOTECH100 in the description. If you use that on Amazon, you'll get 15% off the solar saga 100 solar panel, which can charge either one of these, which is awesome. One solar panel to charge everything. Now, Jackery in the past didn't do that. They had separate 60 and 100 watt panels for separate products. So this is a big leap ahead for them, and it's pretty exciting. It's Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber yet, you know what to do. Check out the description for anything else that I forgot and I'll put it down there and I'll probably pin a comment too. That's it for now, till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Also, I want to let you guys know that the Hobotech shop is back up and running. I made a change a couple of weeks ago trying to enhance the website. I didn't realize I totally broke my store. And nobody told me till yesterday. Somebody tried to order a sticker and said, your PayPal's not working. And so I got that fixed. Uh, no wonder I had any sales for a couple of weeks. I thought I was just unpopular. So if you're interested in Hobotech stickers, I got plenty of them. Just go to hobotech.tv slash shop. And you can see I got one, two, or three. There's also Saznak stickers if you want stickers from Saznak the Trucker. If you want Hobotech t-shirts, hats, beanies, mugs, it's all up there. Lots of Odin stuff too. A lot of you guys like Odin. Got them on a, on a coffee cup. That was a really uh, strong seller. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Go Fear Army Golf Guy, Joe Lazaro Pat.